In this tutorial, we will see how to schedule production and aggregate planning using the chase strategy. With the chase strategy, you produce exactly what is demanded each period. That means no inventory and no back orders. In this first example, demand for periods 1 through 8 is 100, 125, 115, 110, 125, 150, 125, and 120 for a total of 970. Regular time production costs are $10 and the maximum capacity in any period is 90. Overtime production cost is $15 and there's no practical limit on overtime capacity. Prepare an aggregate plan. The slide shows the forecast laid out on the planning grid. In period 1, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 100 minus 90 equals 10 to be produced in overtime. Under the chase strategy, all 100 used in period 1 must be produced in period 1. For period 2, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 125 minus 90 equals 35 to be produced in overtime. In period 3, we produce the full 90 in regular time. That leaves 115 minus 90 equals 25 to be produced in overtime. In period 4, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 110 minus 90 equals 20 to be produced in overtime. For period 5, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 125 minus 90 equals 35 to be produced in overtime. In period 6, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 150 minus 90 equals 60 to be produced in overtime. In period 7, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 125 minus 90 equals 35 to be produced in overtime. In period 8, we produce the full 90 in regular production. That leaves 120 minus 90 equals 30 to be produced in overtime. We produce 90 times 8 equals 720 in regular time. We produce 10 plus 30 plus 25 plus 20 plus 35 plus 60 plus 35 plus 30 equals 250 in overtime. While not shown, 720 plus 250 equals 970, so production equals demand. This will always be the case with the chase strategy and no beginning inventory. Since you've seen numerous examples of calculating inventory in prior tutorials, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to calculate the inventory on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. The slide shows the inventory calculations. As you can see, beginning, ending, and average inventory values are all zero for all periods. This will always be the case for a pure chase strategy with no beginning inventory. How did you do? Do you need to review prior tutorials? The plan is costed out exactly as it was in prior tutorials. In this and the remaining tutorials on aggregate planning, the cost of the plans will be shown but not narrated. If you have difficulty with the cost calculations, please refer to a prior tutorial. The final cost of this plan is $10,950. In this example, for you to try, demand for periods 1 through 8 is 1200, 1150, 1300, 1500, 1600, 1550, 1700, and 1750 for a total of 11750 Regular time production costs are $11 and maximum capacity in any period is 1100 Overtime production cost is $17 with a capacity of 100 per period. Subcontracting cost is $29 with no limit. Prepare an aggregate plan. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. The maximum regular time capacity is 1100 per period. Demand exceeds that quantity in every period, so we schedule 1,100 each period for a total regular time production of 8,800. In period 2, we need 1,150 and have regular time production of 1,100, so we need overtime production of 1,150 minus 1,100 equals 50. That is less than the capacity limit of 100, so we schedule 50. For the other 7 periods, we need 1,200 or more, so we schedule the maximum overtime production of 100 in each of these periods. Do you see why? For period 1, we need 1,200 and produce that many in regular time and overtime, so no subcontracting is required. Likewise, as mentioned earlier, in period 2, the full 1,150 we required is produced without subcontracting. For the remaining periods, the 1,200 we can produce in regular time and overtime is not adequate, so subcontracting will be required. For period 3, 1,300 minus 1,200 equals 100 units subcontracted. 
For period 4, 1,500 minus 1,200 equals 300 units subcontracted. For period 5, 1,600 minus 1,200 equals 400 units subcontracted. For period 6, 1,550 minus 1,200 equals 350 units subcontracted. For period 7, 1,700 minus 1,200 equals 500 units subcontracted. For period 8, 1,750 minus 1,200 equals 550 units subcontracted. That gives us total subcontracted of 2,200 units. How did you do? Since we are using a pure chase strategy, beginning, ending, and average inventories are all zero. The plan is costed out exactly as it was in prior tutorials. The total cost of the plan is $173,350. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.